Quiet, please. Quiet, please. I can hardly hear myself think here. Quiet, please. Right. You're usual for you, Mr. What? Same for you, Mr. Hutton. Enjoy. Cheers. So you want me to come along with you to the Scottish Oak Club here? It's the middle of January. It's the like next to my birthday. Hi. Oh, it'll be fun. You can talk to engineers, geologists, and drillers. Or even <laughs> fund managers, mathematicians, environmentalists. Oh my god, what an enlightened group! Bringing techies and non techies together never usually produces fine company. Engineers, I am more than happy with. Geologists, on the other hand, well, you're just difficult. And uh, why is that? Well,. Just the other day, I was pondering the age of our Earth, well, as one does, and some geologists say it's 4,000 years old. Others say it's 400,000, then others say it's 4 million, and they all think they're right. If Brunel was equally as vague about the number of ribbons in his new fourth bridge, he wouldn't have got the job. You know what? Some engineers, some geologists, are much better with numbers than us. We call these clever ones geophysicists. Well, my trusty lawyer friend says, according to the Bible, the world is 4,004 years old. Lord Kelvin assures me he's calculated 400,000. Who am I? James Watt, near polymath. Do you know who's right? Well, that's how the canal diggers and the navvies, because there always seems to be a lot more rock, a lot less dirt to excavate than you guys predict. Now, I've actually observed and measured soil erosion in my field out in Haddington. If I consider these processes and the thicknesses built up in the very rock strata that you are surveying, then I am sure it is closer to the four million years. There will be people at the Scottish Oak Club that can help convince you I'm right. I need another drink to think about this. Aye. Barman, two more please. Barman, gentlemen. You know, there is a saying, all models are wrong. Some are useful. Maybe yours is useful. I'll ask some other geologists now and see what they think. Perhaps some sort of Geo-robots will help us one day. They'll only have perfect models to work with, and they'll always get it right. There you are, gentlemen. Um, also, have either of you seen a Mr. Burke here this evening? Um, oh, no, he's not here. Now that I think about it, that might be something bad. What is in this Scottish oil meeting? Because, you see, my, my sponsor, Bolton, oh, well, he's, he's, he's gone bust. So perhaps young Hennett will be there if the Bolton Box steam engine becomes the Harriet Box steam engine. Well, I wouldn't have a problem in the slightest. So maybe this is worth my time after all. Oh, good, good. But whilst we're on the topic of physics, have you considered extracting heat from the ground and putting it into into your engine? Geothermal energy. Ah. And one more thing before we go. Have you thought about using liquid oil from the ground? What, like for looking on my chest? Ah, uh, no, no. Uh, put in the engine. Like uh, diesel. Are you daft? <laughs> that would never, never, ever catch on. That's sick. Stop and converse. Alright.